As automakers race to build smarter cars and trucks that have more connectivity, cybersecurity has become a priority, and today industry leaders met to discuss how to keep vehicles from being hacked. Phil LeBeau has our story. The more we're connected behind the wheel and our cars are connected to the outside world, the bigger the threat of our vehicles being hacked, especially as automakers develop self-driving cars. So far, the only known examples of hackers taking control of vehicles involve researchers doing it to show how easily it can be done. That includes last year, when two researchers showed a reporter how they could hack his Jeep Grand Cherokee and take control of it even though they weren't in the SUV. That demonstration led to a software recall of 1.4 million Jeeps and sparked automakers like General Motors to hire cybersecurity firms to find the flaws in their vehicles. What we don't want is, uh, you know, sitting around uh, internally looking at our systems, testing our systems. We've got great testing, but there's always, you know, uh, sort of only the paranoid survive here. So we, we have to get um, input from what the latest systems are that people have access to um, to potentially hack one of our cars. At an auto industry cybersecurity summit in Detroit, it's clear automakers realize keeping hackers out of cars is a top priority. They're focused on safeguards and security systems to not only protect cars when they're on the road, but also when they're parked. This security cam video shows auto thieves using a computer to hack into an SUV they later stole. Experts admit it's hard to tell how vulnerable our cars and trucks are to being hacked while we're behind the wheel. But they all agree it's increasingly likely to happen as we move towards a world where self-driving cars are not only talking to each other, but also to the outside world as we're driving down the road. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.